Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMade.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how to paint floor tile. We're currently in the process of transforming our enclosed back porch into a workshop and I knew that I wanted to paint the tile floor because it's a really outdated and dingy pink tile that I haven't been able to stand since we moved in. Let's talk about the best type of paint to use for painting your floor tile. You can actually just use interior latex paint with a sealant of polyurethane. I actually did this for our budget bathroom makeover, although I don't recommend this because it's not as durable as using actual floor paint that is formulated specifically for floor tiles. There are two well-known type of paints that you can use for painting your floor. There's the Benjamin Moore floor and patio paint, which I've heard great things about, and you can actually use it for your interior and exterior floor. Another well-known floor paint is the rust floor tile paint, and I actually decided to use that for this video because it's just really easy to get at my local Home Depot, and they can also tint the color there for you as well. I went with the color Windsor Gray and a matte top coat that they have. Do keep in mind though, no matter what kind of paint you use, paint will chip over time and you might have to do some touch-ups. It's not going to be as durable as real tile or vinyl flooring. Okay, let's get started. The other materials you're going to need are a cleaner, I used crud cutter, a scrub brush and sponge, painter's tape, a paintbrush, a paint tray, a 3 8 inch nap microfiber paint roller, and a quarter inch nap paint roller, and a paint roller extension pole. Also, a Swiffer dry sweeper is helpful as well. Step one is to clean the floor tile. Cleaning and prepping your surface is super important. We first swept our tile and then vacuumed it. Use a degreaser cleaner to clean the floor tile. We used crud cutter mixed with water per the instructions on the label. Use a scrub brush with the cleaner to clean the tile and then wipe clean with water and a sponge. Start at one corner of the room and work in small sections. We found this worked best with two people, so Brennan would scrub one section of tile at a time and then I would wipe the tile down with water. Also, my water would get dirty pretty fast, so I had to keep replacing it with clean water. After cleaning the tile, let the floor fully dry. Step two is to prep for painting the tile. If needed, use painter's tape and tape off any areas that need to be protected from paint, including the bottoms of the wall if needed when cutting in. Mix the paint well before starting. Use a paintbrush and cut in around the room perimeter between the floor edge and the wall and any hard to reach areas. Allow the cut coat to dry. Step four is to paint the floor tile with a roller. Use a 3 8 inch nap paint roller and extension pole to paint the tile floor. Again, work in small sections about four feet by four feet at a time. Make sure to start at one corner and then plan on rolling the last corner near your exit point for the room. Also, make sure to get into the grout really well and that all areas have a good coverage of paint. Only one coat is necessary with this paint, which is great, and this stuff goes on with really thick coverage.
Per the paint directions, allow the paint to dry for six hours before proceeding to the next step of applying the top coat. Step five is to apply the top coat to the floor tile. I wanted to point out that we didn't walk on this floor after painting, yet somehow little bits of dirt and fuzzies appeared on our floor. So we used a Swiffer dry sweeper right before applying the top coat to avoid small fuzzies in our finish. We also wore clean socks instead of shoes to help avoid dirt as well during this process. Another thing I noticed is that the paint scuffs extremely easily before adding the top coat, so be very careful not to scratch it, although you can do touch-ups if you need to. Mix the top coat well before starting. Apply the top coat the same way as the base paint coat. Start by cutting in around the room perimeter, and then roll the top coat on the rest of the floor tile. Use a quarter inch nap paint roller for the top coat, which is thinner than the 3 8 inch nap and it doesn't absorb as much liquid. Go slow with the top coat. It streaks easily because it's very thin, so you may need to roll lightly over the tile a little more to ensure the coverage is even. A second top coat may be added for extra durability after the first coat is dry. Again, per the instructions, let everything dry for at least 24 hours before light foot traffic and 72 hours before adding furniture, and then seven days for a full cure. I love how this painted floor tile turned out. It's way better than the outdated pink tile we had before. Let me know what you think of our painted floor tile below in the comments. You can follow along on Instagram stories to see sneak peeks of this room makeover progress. And also make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the DIY and decor tutorial videos as well. Thanks again for stopping by.